Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we have some Instagram tips But unlike my other videos these tips are kind of unethical spammy and pretty sneaky But if you want to use them to grow a theme page really really fast I'm not gonna call the cops on you So basically these tips are like the Pablo Escobar of Instagram tips the kind of greasy and spammy Wouldn't recommend for the average Joe But you on the other hand I'll give them to you and if you use them the right way and don't really get caught for being super spammy and greasy You could probably get away with growing a theme page like 10 times as fast as a normal page using normal genuine tips So the main reason I'm making this video is because I need content super bad just kidding But I actually find these tips really really entertaining to learn about and how other people take advantage of them to finesse the Instagram Algorithm and grow their pages so so fast So even if you're not interested in growing a page or building a business on Instagram This still might be a good video for you to watch You can just learn about how to finesse the Instagram algorithm in case you want to do this in the future And like I said, they're pretty entertaining just to learn about so stay tuned and let's get on with the video so getting started, let's go ahead and dive into the first- wait, actually let's not dive in. Can you actually scroll down, hit the subscribe button and the like button? Because we're so so close to a thousand subscribers to get monetized and get that internet bread. And it's free to like and subscribe, so why wouldn't you? Okay, so you liked and you subscribed. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and dive into the first tip. So the first unethical Instagram tip is basically just misleading captions. Basically just writing something super controversial that makes people pretty mad. So to put this tip into perspective, I'm gonna go ahead and give an example. Let's go ahead and say you have a cool car page where you post supercars. And to instantly have it hit the explore page let's say you're posting a picture of bugatti instead of putting something about the bugatti in the caption you're gonna put something like what do you think of this sick ferrari that i put and obviously if you're running a car theme page it's gonna be the crazy car guys that are following it so it's also gonna be the crazy car guys that see that and just get steam blowing out of their ears and go into the comments yelling at you and telling you that you don't know anything about cars you suck and probably a couple minor death threats too it gets pretty deep in the car world but if you're wondering why people would do this if you're just gonna get hate on your page you might lose one or two follows but like i said a second ago the crazy car guys are gonna be commenting in there so much getting mad at you just looking for responses and just starting arguments in the comments but if you didn't know the Instagram algorithm will actually pick up your page if you're getting more than usual comments and like more engagement on your page because if you're getting hate comments and bad comments on your post Instagram doesn't see bad comments as bad comments Instagram just sees comments as comments so the more comments you get the more chances you have of getting on the explore page and then what's gonna happen is if you get on the explore page other people that like cars are gonna comment on that post getting mad because they're seeing that post just now and it's gonna keep going keep going and it's just gonna be an alternating tower of stairs just at the top getting so many comments because it's just never gonna stop so that's a really good way to get a extremely viral post but like i said you're probably already catching my rift it's a pretty unethical spammy and kind of dumb tip but it could work another example would be if you're running like an extreme sports page or something like that someone would put a picture or a video of a kid doing something absolutely crazy and then in the caption they'd put are his parents stupid are his parents crazy for letting him do this and all the people that support kids sports including most people are gonna get mad and start controversial arguments in the comments which once again bad comments also equals good comments for the algorithm so tip number two is gonna help you get so much more watch time and it's basically just baiting people to watch the end I guarantee if you follow a couple meme pages and just scroll through the post every now and then you're gonna see something like this where people put something in the caption saying oh my god watch to the end of the video I can't believe what happened at the end this is insane and then obviously it's gonna bait people to watch to the end of the video to see what happens and chances are nothing Nothing happens at the end and you just wasted some people's time but they still watch the video to the end and it's gonna get on the explore page because the more watch time you get on a video equals the more Instagram pushes it to other people which is good and another unethical plus to this tip is people that already watched the video to the end and get mad that you wasted their time are gonna go ahead and comment in your post a ton telling you that it's fake saying don't watch to the end it's fake he's a bait nothing like that and then once again bad comments equals good comments so more comments more watch time it's basically a plus plus if you don't care about the hate and that's one thing on meme pages and other stuff that actually make me pretty mad myself when people are just constantly telling me to watch to the end of the video and then i do watch to the end and there's just nothing there and it kind of makes me kind of mad but whatever the instagram game is still the instagram game and you're getting followers and engagement whatsoever so if you don't mind the hate and getting spammy comments and probably losing one or two followers here and there you can try these, but once again, I'm not promoting to try these at all. I just thought they were pretty entertaining and cool. So tip number three would be advertising free shoutouts. So if you don't know what I mean by this is basically you're saying in your bio or some captions of a post say everyone who follows me has a chance of getting a free shout out or I'm giving free shout outs to everybody who is following me right now throughout the rest of the day or something like that. And chances are people are going to follow you a lot because they're wanting free shout outs. And I mean, obviously you're not going to give shout outs to everybody who follows you. But something that makes this tip more unethical than it already is, is you can post some 
quote unquote proof. So basically you have free shout outs or give a ton of shout outs to your second account or some of your friends and family's theme pages or meme pages and then say this is proof or you can once again use your second account and DM your main account that you're advertising the free shout outs on and saying oh my god thanks for the free shout out and post that on your story on your main account so people think it's actually happening and they're more inclined to follow you because they actually think you're giving the free shout outs and who doesn't want a free shout out and I have to plead guilty on this one I have tried this before on one of my theme pages and let me just tell you the followers absolutely spiked like I said before if you're not worried about that hey I would definitely try this because it works it really really works so tip number four would just be classic finessing people so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple examples on the screen like right here and right here of people trying to finesse you to get into the algorithm I guarantee if you follow any meme page or something you've swiped on a carousel and you've seen a post like this and also seen something like this and chances are people are gonna do it I've seen this before and I've actually tried this before you can say the first person to comment their name letter by letter gets a free shout out on my page and then what's gonna happen is instead of giving one comment of their name you're gonna get five comments at the shortest of people typing in their name and there's also gonna be a ton of more comments of people trying to interrupt the other people trying to do it so it's just a ton of more comments and you're getting more comments more engagement and also like this one up here is just baiting people to like your posts it's pretty smart honestly if you'd ask me so tip number five and the last tip of this video is just posting super controversial stuff so similar to tip number one you just want to post stuff that gets people mad and starts arguments within the comment section but unlike tip number one instead of people getting mad at you they're just gonna be getting mad at each other which is pretty funny to watch honestly so if you've been on Instagram for the past couple years or so, I guarantee you've been in that argument race of people seeing the purple dress or the gold dress. Some people see purple and black and some people see gold and white on the dress. And scientifically, it's just the shading of the colors. Half and half people see different things, but it just starts arguments in the comments. So you can go ahead and just repost this or you can find other stuff that looks like this where two people see two different things. And it's going to start crazy arguments in your comments and people are going to get so mad at each other because they think one person's right when the other person isn't. Once again, it's a good post because it'll probably do well in the algorithm algorithm and it starts a lot of arguments which gives you more comments and more engagement in the future okay guys so that's been the end of this video with the unethical instagram life hacks i hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again if you guys want to try them i wouldn't really recommend them but you could probably get away with using some of them but i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'm out peace out